What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, with a new world tournament finally coming to global within the next um, 12 hours or so, I thought it would make a lot of sense to show you guys some updated world tournament team builds to help you get through your runs as efficiently as possible and also score as many points as you possibly can. Now, I don't claim to be a world tournament expert, I've never you know, ranked in the top 100 or anything like that, but I have been through my fair share of world tournaments over the past four plus years of playing this game, and I've also done a lot of research. So with all that said, let's jump right into it. And what we're gonna do is take a look at a few different team compositions that I've put together here, and uh, I'll talk you through like why I chose each unit, why each unit is uh, useful for the team. And of course, later on, we'll also go over which support items you want to bring to uh, support the teams because that's also a very important aspect of the tournament. So starting with the first team we have, this is a very popular build. It's a standard, uh, you know, full power team. We got the FaZe Broly as the leader. We have STRLR Broly as basically your main damage dealer, your main attacker. This guy is undoubtedly the king of the world tournament and if you have him extremes he awakened obviously you want to bring him on essentially any team you build you know like maybe swap out a few units but str lr broly is always going to be your number one choice for the attacker and then for the rest of the team we have the fizz lr krillin who is also a top tier attack all unit and then we have the easy a str omega shenron by the way how sweet does that sticker effect look man i think he might have the best sticker effect in the entire game but anyways yeah we have the str omega shenron here because he is a very good support unit for the full power category key plus two attack and defense plus uh, 40 percent so he will give a significant boost to your uh, brolies as well as the uh, krillin and then we have jocko and chaozu now if you're a newer player you might be a little bit confused by the choice of uh, the two SSRs because obviously they don't do a lot of damage, they don't attack all, so they might seem a little bit useless on first impression, right? But these two are actually very, very important for a you know defensive world tournament team, mainly because of their passives, which says uh, may stun all enemies. Same thing with the Chaozu, exact same wording as well, may stun all enemies. Now this is very misleading because may stun all enemies kind of implies that there's a chance they'll stun the enemy team, but it's not guaranteed. But in practice, when you have them on your team, the first time they enter a battle, they actually guarantee 100% stun the entire enemy team. So what this does is allows you to, you know, freely attack without worrying about taking an enemy super and potentially dying. Because when you get to the higher uh, difficulties of the world tournament like 20x, 25x, and 30x, a enemy super, sometimes even an enemy normal will do like a couple hundred thousand, but an enemy super attack will one-shot you, right? And if you care about your winning streak, if you care about, uh, you know, the bonus score you get from having consecutive wins, then you don't want to die, right? So that's why Jocko and Chaozu are extremely useful, and a lot of people run both of them because they both give you kind of like a free Ghost Usher in a way, because on the turn that they first appear on your rotation, you don't have to worry about enemy attacks at all. Okay, so this is a very popular build that people use. Now moving on to some other teams we have here. Uh, this is a build that I saw going around on Twitter a lot, and apparently it was posted by a uh, consistently high ranking player on the JP side. And as you can see, it is an all LR team. I feel like this is a team that not a lot of players will have access to, but uh, just in case you have all these units, it's something you could try because uh, there's actually a good reason to run an all LR team. And that's because you get a bonus for having higher rarity units on your team. So while this build is you know better defensively since you have Jocko and Chaozu to ensure that you don't take as many attacks, this one gives you a much better point bonus. And I think the difference between like a full LR team and a team with only one or two LRs could be up to like 10,000 points per run. And if you're doing a lot of runs, that difference really adds up, right? So this is definitely a build that uh, is worth trying to maximize your 
total amount of points gained per clear. Now, taking a closer look at the team, we have the uh, Super Battle Road LR Kid Gohan as the leader because he is in all types. He plus 3 HP, attack, and defense plus 120% lead. Um, on JP, you could use the uh, Int Super Battle Road Goku since he has an Extreme Z Awakening, but unfortunately, global players don't have access to that yet, so this guy would be the best leader for global. And then for the rest of the team, we have uh, STRLR Broly, who of course is still going to be the main attacker. And we have the Majin Vegeta here. He is an attack all unit. He's not going to be the most consistent though. If you do choose to bring him, I do recommend that you bring a orb changing item like the Chi Lai support item since she's basically a Tabura cookie but for HEL orbs. And Majin Vegeta definitely needs those extra HEL orbs to get the 18 key super off and attack the entire uh, enemy team, right? And uh, from there, we have two more attack all LRs, the LR Krillin, and also the LR Nappa and Vegeta. They're both amazing for the World Tournament. And the last choice is kind of interesting. I mean, obviously, he's mainly here because he's an LR. We have the Tech LR Ginyu Goku. Now, he is also an extreme class support, attack and defense plus 30%. So, um, you know, the Broly, the Majin Vegeta and also the Nappa and Vegeta will benefit from that too. So that's a bit of a bonus. But uh, basically, you want to have the full LR team. You want to get as big of a point bonus from your team rarity as possible. And uh, that's kind of the idea behind this team. And as I said, not everyone's going to have all the required units. But if you do, it's definitely worth a shot. You just got to be a little bit more careful since you don't have Jocko and Chiaotzu to uh, you know save you. You want to bring probably two damage reduction items, or rather one Ghost Usher, right? And also another damage reduction item like a King Gemma or something to that effect, just to be extra safe, okay? Now, after that, we have this pure Saiyans build, and the idea behind it is very similar to the first team. We have the Fizz Vegeta, who's basically just here to be the pure Saiyans leader. And then for our attackers, we have Majin Vegeta, uh, we have the STR Broly, and we have Nappa and Vegeta, and then we have Jocko and Chiaotzu to uh, stun the enemy team. And we also have this Inhuman Deeds build with uh, LR Nappa and Vegeta as the lead this time, STR Broly, Majin Vegeta, and also the Free to Play Second Form Frieza as our attack all uh, unit. And this guy actually does a very respectable amount of damage, uh, even as a Free to Play unit, as long as he's, of course, Extreme Z Awakened. So definitely don't be afraid to use him. And then we have Jocko and Chiaotzu. Now I realize that a lot of these teams we've talked about aren't really going to be viable options for newer players, free to play players, because you know most of them have had LRs, right? So if you are looking for a more budget friendly or free to play friendly, uh, you know, team, this one could work. You want to use either the LR first form Frieza or whoever is your best extreme lead as the leader and then you want to bring guys like this uh, AGL final form Frieza who attacks all does some pretty good damage and also can stun we have this fat boo who same thing can attack all uh, decent damage and also has a rare chance to stun and of course we have the uh, free to play second form Frieza as your third attacker and then from there you can bring Jocko and Chiaotzu I know some people don't want to bring both so potentially you can bring an extreme support in place of one of them. We have this uh, all types build. If you have the uh, super battle with Goku, even though he doesn't have an extreme Z awakening yet, he's still a very good all types leader. Uh, there are a few other options. If you don't have him, then maybe bring another all types leader you have in your box. And then uh, you can pick and choose like which attack all units you want to use, like the LR uh, Krillin, the AGL, or sorry, Tech Majin Vegeta. And also the Int Raditz are decent options. Now the Raditz I know has some trouble, um, you know, clearing teams on higher difficulties. So it might take a few extra turns and that of course will hurt your productivity. But uh, you know, sometimes you just don't have the right units. So these are some good alternatives. And uh, these are just some examples. You could actually just go into your box, go to character list and select the skill effect super attack and click on all target super attack and it will show you all the units in your box 
that have the attack all capability. And the reason, of course, you want to bring attack all units on your team is because um, it just saves you a lot of time, right? There's always going to be seven enemies on the opposing team. And if you're bringing single target attackers on your team, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, or uh, you know, STR Cooler or whoever, even if they're doing a lot of damage, even if they're one-shotting each enemy they attack, that's still seven different super attack animations you're watching with every fight, right? And that just makes your runs way too long. So that's why you wanna make sure to bring at least two to three attack all units on uh, whichever team you build. And there's also, of course, the friend who should always be STR LR Broly with an Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, if you can't find that, then some other good options would be the Fizz Broly um, or I guess Nappa and Vegeta, even though that's going to be kind of rare. And if you're really desperate, then you can also go for a friend, um, Fizz Krillin, because he's also still very good. So that's pretty much the general idea behind World Tournament Team Building. You want to have a strong leader, some hard hitting attack all units, maybe a support, and uh, Jocko and Chiaotzu if you want to play it safe. And that's all there is to it. Now, a few of the other attack all units that are good that we didn't really talk about. We have the Fizz LR Cell, who obviously can hit pretty hard, but the issue is that there are a lot of STR enemies in World Tournament, and Cell with type disadvantage won't be able to clear a lot of them in the higher difficulties, right? And we also have this STR Broly, who also is pretty good after he extremes the Awakens, but he has the same name as the LR, and of course the LR is just a million times better than the uh, you know TUR version. And you know we also have this Piccolo who is is okay, and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, overall, if you guys don't have even one attack all unit, I definitely recommend that you farm the Krillin, especially because he does have a boost, a bonus for his event. So it shouldn't take you that long. And uh, then the friend, you want to bring an STR LR Broly as your friend supporter. So that's at least two attack all units on your team. And that's it, guys. Now, the last thing we'll talk about before we end the video is the support items. So let's quickly pop over to uh, that tab here. And what I would say are the best options. Number one, Ghost Usher, just to make sure you don't die to a super. Number two, uh, Fruit of the Tree of Might, because sometimes you just need a few key to get that super off, and popping one of these will guarantee the attack. And if you're gonna bring LR Majin Vegeta specifically, then you wanna make sure you have this girl, because once again, AGL Majin Vegeta needs 18 key at least to attack all, and if you don't have her, then it's gonna be very difficult to get that 18 key super consistently. And from there, I would go with a few more uh, defensive items. I think King Yama is definitely a great choice. Uh, I also think that if you don't have a lot of King Yamas, then the Baba here, uh, which go at the Baba, which uh, doesn't allow your opponents to use super attacks, can also save your butt because the main concern is the super attack, right? Like you can eat a few supers if you have to, or rather uh, eat a few normal attacks, if you have to without dying, but a super will almost always kill you. So if you yeah, don't want to use too many Yamas or you're out of Yamas or whatever, the Baba is also a solid option defensively. And that's pretty much it. I've seen some people use like offensive items like the uh, Future Bulma, for example, who gives all allies attack plus 25% for two turns. That's good if you feel like your uh, units are not that powerful and you need the extra attack. She's, you know, a solid pick. And um, yeah, those are the main items I would recommend. What I personally go with is Ghost Usher, King Yama, uh, Fruit of the Tree of Might, and then I'll probably, you know, run like a Baba. But this time I'm filling the LR team a little bit just to increase my score. So I'm probably also going to bring the Chi Lai to uh, make sure, you know, that Majin Vegeta gets his 18 key. And that's it guys, that is today's video. Hopefully this video helped a few of you out there uh, figure out what team you wanna bring, which units you wanna bring for this world tournament. And uh, of course, tomorrow, when the world tournament drops, I will be 
doing a very long stream. I don't know exactly how long, maybe two to four hours, maybe four to eight, depending on how I feel. But uh, for the first day, we always go pretty hard. So make sure to tune into that stream if you guys are available. And that's all I got to say. That is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.